Hi, it's Vernon Kay, and thanks for joining us in Radio 2's Piano Room, home of your favourite artists performing piano versions of their biggest hits. Plus, of course, spectacular cover versions, all alongside the amazing BBC Concert Orchestra. Today's guest is simply one of the most prolific and successful British singer-songwriters of the last 50 years. As the musical heartbeat of Oasis, he helped make them the most successful British band of their era, and he's continued to enjoy huge success with his high-flying birds over the last decade. Welcome to the Radio 2 Piano Room, Mr Noel Gallagher. It's quite strange, I'll be honest with you, having a performance like that and no one clapping. It's really bizarre. We've asked them specifically to look 
extremely uninterested and not to clap. I know, it's weird. It's really weird. I apologize. I'm going to give you a round of applause because I thought that was absolutely magnificent. Well, right thank on. you very much. Well thank done, everyone. Much. That's why you get paid the big bucks at the BBC, isn't it? Oh, you need to be uh, my agent, my friend. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first time with the BBC Concert Orchestra. How does that Surely feel? not. Surely not. They must have played with them before. Um, <laughs> I recognise one or two faces. That might be from the boozer, though. Well, yeah, there you go. All locals. And you said with our very own Joe Wiley in a recent interview that this is a collection of songs that aren't necessarily intertwined with each other or the next one on the well, album. Then, well, I think it flows well as a, as a record if you, if you can be bothered to sit and listen to it for 42 minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, it's a good listen, but you can pull it, you can pull it, any track out and it will work on its own. But, for example, like Pretty Boy sounds nothing like Dead to the World or Council Skies, which is what we're going to do in a minute. Um, but it doesn't, have, it doesn't have any lyrical... None of the songs are connected in that way. I mean, if it's one word, as I've been using a lot in interviews, is it's kind of a reflective record, really. Nice. And Council Skies, because it takes you back to when you were a young lad looking above and thinking, what's well, going to happen to me in the future? Yeah, well, I, I was writing the song itself and I was getting stuck for a, for, for a bit for a bit that would that would elevate it from just another little scratchy demo thing. And um, on my coffee table at home was a, 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 a book by an artist called Pete McKee from Sheffield who I've worked with a bit down the years. And his book is called Council Skies. And um, it's a book of illustrations of characters from council estates and it set off a chain of events that kind of led to... You didn't take an idea from someone else and use it yourself, did you? Uh, but this time I actually asked him. Right, yeah, okay. Andy was alive. All right. It's usually dead, it's usually dead people. <laughs> New album is out tomorrow, called mm. Council Skies, and this is the title track you're going to play next, I do This is Council Skies, yes. Thank you.
Thanks, Noel. No worries. Awesome. Council Skies from Council Skies, the new album, uh, yes, which we'll repeat again, is available tomorrow. Indeed. Um, what's it about? Uh, young love on a council estate, growing up in the in the concrete and trying to find beauty in the in the city. But what I do admire about yourself, Noel, apart from obviously your music and everything that's gone on throughout the 90s, is that when I see those videos of you walking to the Man City Stadium with people, not with a security guard, he might be 10 oh, feet yeah. behind, but it's nice to see you. I saw you in the in the actual stands with the people. Yeah, my kid, my, yeah, well, I don't, I don't have a security guard. I have one on tour because I've, I don't even know why I have one on tour, if I'm being honest. Um, but no, I don't have one on a day-to-day -day basis. You just draw attention to yourself. No, but, but I mean at the football when you're just oh, going you, there well, with the lads. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my, my, do you know what? When we go to City, they, obviously they give us a box and mm -hmm. um, we go there. But when we go to uh, when we go away, we go on the terraces because my lads love it. They love all the swearing and the, and, it, and it, you know if it's, it's you know uh, it's getting a bit edgy. Particularly the little one is 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 right into it. Um, and they love the characters, and you know you're still there was that Fulham the other week, and there was some fella shouting to Harland, get your finger out, Harland, what is shifting? So it's 51 goals, not enough for you, mate. What? Last time I went to Fulham, I got a rendition of Not As Good As Anton Deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, from Bolton fans. I'm saying now. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, all right, we're going to play uh, your final track. Yeah. Which is a cover version because we are. Well, we're on the BBC fun. and you can't get out of the BBC without doing a cover version. It's like, yeah, you, know, you, you do a couple of your own, but can you do a cover version? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, when they asked me to do this, I was like, I'm afraid I'm all Bob Dylan out. And I got the Beatles and I didn't know what to do. But. This song that I'm about to do is a song that, when I first started playing the guitar, obviously couldn't play it, and I would play Joy Division bass lines on the top string. One of the, and the first one I learned to play was Love Was Terrors Apart. And uh, I would play this song, this version of it, uh, at home, you know, down the years when I, you know. And uh, when they asked me to do it, I was like, can we get away with that? Because it's such an iconic means a lot uh, to so many people, actually. And being from Manchester as well, it's uh, this is going to be tricky. But uh, when I've got my own studio, I went and did a little demo of it, and I was like, you know what? I think I might be able to pull this off. So we're going to do Love Will Tear Us Apart by The Divs. Take it away, my friend. Thank you. So cold, eternal. 